Hey guys, time to review Uncanny X-Force number 25. Now, Uncanny X-Force, of course, one of my favorite runs, even though they, uh, issues, I can't, I think it was like 20, or 19 to 23, no, no, it was 20 through about 23, went downhill terribly in artwork, but, uh, issue 24 was a <coughs> step back in the right direction, 25 is that same step, keep it, that keeps it coming, uh, this issue is actually three issues. It's the main story, then it's a two backup, well, two bonus stories. One with Wolverine, and one with Deadpool. But, uh, the main story focuses on, uh, Deadpool kind of breaking into this, uh, illegal betting, or illegal auction place <clears throat> that they basically auction off super soldiers and assassins and spec opt teams so, uh, evil masterminds can use them. And they specially design them, all kinds of stuff. And he learns some pretty uh, interesting things in there, especially about who looks like will be the new villain for his upcoming arc, which I'm really excited about. Uh, it also deals with a lot of the members, their feelings about what's going on lately on Kenny X-Force. Uh, Psylocke, uh, Phantom X, and a lot of them uh, basically quitting the team outright because they're just they're tired of where it's got them. Especially Psylocke, someone who's been through so much and now is left very hollow through it all, and she, spoiler, so if you haven't read it, don't, she does quit the team in this issue, and so does Phantom X. If it's for good, time will tell, but, uh, it, it, I like it because it makes sense. It's a natural progression. Uh, the story is, I definitely think I can X Forces back on track after the other world stuff. But overall, the main issue I really did like, uh, the backup issues, the Wolverine issue, I thought was really good. It dealt with the Dealt really with Logan's struggle to uh, not let the killer in him out, uh, trying to be an honorable man. Uh, a lot of dealt with that issue, but uh, this one deals with it really well. And then, of course, in traditional Wolverine fashion, he uh, lets the beast out. But there's some great uh, dialogue, some like really, really great dialogue in it. And then the Deadpool backup story is what a Deadpool story should be in my mind. It's crazy, weird, and fun and hilarious. Uh, I won't even try to begin to explain what it's about, uh, but it's awesome. So overall, I really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10, and I will see you guys in another review.